Hey, you sound over here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part four of my super collider series where we are trying to express dynamically express our change in altitude. This is the exciting part. I think this is one of my favorite videos to show you and that is working with drums and working with drums expressively. So before we get started with the actual code, let's go ahead and load up this sound file. This is by Stefan Torto. This is just one of his drum tracks. He's one of my favorite electronic artists out there and his loops are great. Go check him out and if you want to download some of his loops for free, you can. I recommend a donation because he's that cool. So anyway, <laughs> back to the, his drums. This is what it sounds like. About over 10 seconds, just at 11 approximately between 10 and 11 seconds, number of channels, stereo as per usual. So today we're going to be exploring loop nodes and release nodes. Now I have just scratched the surface of these. I, I have a lot to learn with these. So I'm just going to show you the basics, but it's enough to get you going with expression. So let's go ahead and talk about release nodes. So they are integers uh, within the established array. So in this example, we're just going to go straight to an example. We will have a release node of integer two and a loop node of integer zero. So what this means for this envelope here is that it's going to be looping. This, uh, this test we're going to have is going to be looping between nodes zero and one or between uh, level one and duration four, or really uh, uh, zero to the maximum value of one in the span of four seconds. And this is going to be looping between this area and one to the drop down to 0.1 in amplitude over the span of half a second. And then when we're done testing over the course of 10 seconds, which is kind of the sound file, that's why I wanted to do that, uh, then it will release for two more seconds. So that's a lot of words. Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like. I did scale the amplitude back because this is going to be a mono signal in your uh, left ear and it's not the greatest of sounds, but you will see what's going on. And it's looping back up to the peak there, 0.25 and looping back to 0.1. So it was looping back approximately three times maybe slightly over three times in the duration of 10 seconds. So what this is, is just an envelope with our values and our times in between those values. So levels and, and times with levels and a linear curve. And the release node is two with a loop node of zero. We also can write it this way. There are different ways of, of writing that. So let me just bring that up just a little bit bigger. And same envelope, you can spell out linear two. Uh, loop node or, or release node, we can spell that out, which you will see in the sense below. Uh, so let's go ahead and apply this with the Torto drum set or sample. Uh, so I have the same envelope here. So what we had seen here, just kind of spelled out a little bit differently, but the same values. So the, the same level uh, values, the same time values, it's going to be linear as far as our curves, release node two and loop node zero. Um, so if, in case you need to see the argument values, I have it up here for our attack at four seconds, our sustain at half a second, and our release at two seconds. So let's see how this sounds with our drum sample. So it was a little bit of a dynamic boost in volume and then pulling back and boost in volume. Very, very musical. Uh, there's a bit of musicianship behind this. Let me go ahead and uh, before I forget, free this uh, synth here. I did forget that. There we go. All right, uh, let's go ahead and try another envelope. Uh, so again, we're going to use the same node value here. And we're going to go between some curve values. So a little bit more dramatic, a little bit higher in value there. So not just linear there. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, and again, I did scale it back a quarter of the volume for your sake and mine. Oh, what's that? Uh, let's see. Oh, 
I didn't include a comma. There we go. Should be good now. There we go. So kind of kind of dramatic. So a peak and then um, another peak before looping again. Oh, actually, excuse me. It's actually looping here before the final uh, ramp up and release. So uh, we can we can change that. Let's let's actually try three. And the second peak should be slightly softer. In fact, oh, let's see. Well, we'll go ahead and and try that again. It's a little bit different. Let's try something more dynamic. And I know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this at one. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. So I would say a lot more dramatic. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I, I did change the values a little bit, uh, but these are the previous uh, values I, as you had seen. Um, let's go ahead and try this out. I might even explore uh, the, the dramatic curve values as well. So let's try. You know, I would say not as, not as, you know, let me pull this volume up just a little bit more. Let's try this. I don't want it too loud. You know, we'll, we'll try it at this volume and then maybe we'll try it a little bit louder. Let's see what that sounds like. Nice. Maybe once or twice, uh, not, not as dramatic as I thought. Um, I'm gonna try a couple more instances. I keep forgetting to free the synth. Let's try that again. Nice. And let's see what that is. So it starts, then it decays. Pretty cool. I, you know, I, I do just like the positive curve values just a little bit more. There's something about that exponential expression ramping up toward the end instead of starting fast and, and going slow, but to each his own. All right, let's try, I guess, this. Let's see what this does. Yeah. Okay, just a little bit whoop there. Um, so I think it is repeating uh, these two peaks, looping before going again and again. And you can see that I actually scaled the actual time values a lot shorter. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Just now want to try these uh, different values. Um, so let's let's try something a little bit more dramatic, more dramatic curve. Oh, forgot to free my synth and I can't do it anymore. Not a big deal if you leave a synth on, but it's good to have to clear that no tree. And it's I don't know if you heard that extra punch at the turn of the phrase with that hi-hat instrument, but th this is what I'm going for. This is what I'm going for, for, for all these videos that I've done, and I'm going to do more videos on the series. Uh, just a lot more expression with envelopes and oscillations, and, and actually there are no oscillations here. This is just simple envelopes and when to release and, and when to loop and all of that, and I'm just starting as far as, you know, scratching the surface. So. 
anyway, if you heard some of that expression, if you're feeling excited, I will definitely explore more of this. I, I, I want to be a lot more expressive, a lot more musical with Super Collider. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will see you possibly next week for part five. So take care, and I'll catch you later.